Alexius II Comnenos, Latinized Alexius II Comnenus, was Byzantine emperor from 1180 to 1183. He ascended to the throne as a minor. For the duration of his short reign, the imperial power was de facto held by regents. Born in the purple at Constantinople, Alexios was the long-awaited son of Emperor Manuel I Comnenos and Maria of Antioch. In 1171 he was crowned co-emperor, and in 1175 he accompanied his father at Dorylaeon in Asia Minor in order to have the city rebuilt. On March 2, 1180, at the age of 11, he was married to Agnes of France aged 10, daughter of King Louis VII of France. She was thereafter known as Anna, and after Alexios' murder three years later, Anna would be remarried to the person responsible, Andronikos, then aged 65. When Manuel I died in September 1180, Alexios II succeeded him as emperor. At this time, however, he was an uneducated boy with only amusement in mind. The imperial regency was then undertaken by the dowager empress and the protosebastos Alexios Komnenos, who was popularly believed to be her lover. The regents depleted the imperial treasury by granting privileges to Italian merchants and to the Byzantine aristocracy. When Bela III of Hungary and Kalidjarslan II of Rum began raiding within the Byzantine western and eastern borders respectively, the regents were forced to ask for help to the Pope and to Saladin. Furthermore, a party supporting Alexios II's right to reign, led by his half-sister Maria Komnini and her husband the Caesar John, stirred up riots in the streets of the capital. The regents managed to defeat the party on April 1182, but Andronikos Komnenos, a first cousin of Manuel I, took advantage of the disorder to aim at the crown. He entered Constantinople, received with almost divine honours, and overthrew the government. His arrival was celebrated by a massacre of the Latins in Constantinople, especially the Venetian merchants, which he made no attempt to stop. The empire in 1180, when Alexios II became emperor on May 16, 1182 Andronikos, posing as Alexios' protector, officially restored him on the throne. As for 1180, the young emperor was uninterested in ruling matters, and Andronikos effectively acted as the power behind the throne, not allowing Alexios any voice in public affairs. One after another, Andronikos suppressed most of Alexios' defenders and supporters, his half-sister Maria Komnini, the Caesar John, his loyal generals Andronikos Daukas Angelos, Andronikos Kantas Stefanos and John Komnenos Vatitsis, while Empress Dowager Maria was put in prison. In 1183, Alexios was compelled to condemn his own mother to death. In September 1183, Andronikos was formally proclaimed emperor before the crowd on the terrace of the Church of Christ of the Chalk. Probably by the end of the same month, Andronikos ordered Alexios' assassination, the young emperor was secretly strangled with a bowstring and his body buried in the Bosporer. In the years following Alexios' mysterious disappearance, many young men resembling him tried to claim the throne. In the end, none of those pseudo Alexios managed to become emperor. Alexios is a character in the historical novel Agnes of France by Greek writer Kostas Kyriazis. The novel describes the events of the reigns of Manuel I, Alexios II, and Andronikos I through the eyes of Agnes. Thanks for watching.